Logic flows can also interact with both data resources and data variables. The value of a data variable can be set with the setDataVariableFlow function. The most obvious custom use for this is to set the value of new type data variable before creating or updating a record, but you can set the value of any data variable with it. As we saw, it is also used in the default data variable logic to set the value of the data variable to the fetch data from the backend. Logic flows can directly interact with the data resources via the data category flow functions get record, get record collection, create record, update record, and delete record. These flow functions take the data resource as an input argument. Any configured parameters like headers and query parameters will then be provided as input arguments. For client side storage and the AppGyver cloud storage, the ID parameter should be provided for get update and delete record. Create and update record also have an input argument for providing a data object for the create or update operation. The record properties correspond to the schema of the data resource. On successful operation, the top output of the flow functions is routed to with the response object available as an output argument of the node. On error, the bottom output is triggered with an error object available as the output argument.